baby. Give me a break. Yes. Her. This is about to be a car meet. And where else but, where else but the melted, the melted, muffed up brewery I was just at, making a video 10 minutes ago. Yeah, baby. 10 minutes ago. Nah, more than 10 minutes. More than 10 minutes ago I was just here, but uh, I was on my way out. I was Right over the viaduct right there. I said a GTR just drove by. A GTR went down there. I don't know why it went down there. He might come back out. Uh, indigo GTR, baby. And indigo. And the clouds cleared up. And the sky cleared up. And uh, so I came over here. I said, gee whiz. I was on the viaduct. Oh, there's a, what's this? There's a Beamer. There's a Beamer. There's a Infinity. And uh, those, those Infinity, they're noisy. What's this? Okay, so we got the FRS and we got the we got the S2000 Honda. Very nice, very nice. And they're going to the auto meets. They're going to the auto meets over here at the Melted Mother Muffin Brewery. The Hams Brewery in St. Paul, Minnesota. The capital city. Let's get to business. I'll show you what's happening here. I pulled off. I had to pee. Baby pants were down all the way and they're up now. And I had to pee. I said, gee whiz, I'm not going to make it over the viaduct. I said, I had to turn around on the viaduct. I said, no, I'm not going to make it. No. I pulled up, I swung in here like a bat out of hell, like a bat flew out of hell, baby. This swung in the corner right here. And I stopped right here, I said, oh shit, I gotta pee, I gotta hop it. I'm hopping, I gotta pee. And I'm looking around, I said, oh shit, there's people here though. There's houses here, I said, oh wait, they're abandoned. Definitely a couple of banditos here. A couple of bandos. Ah, banditos. Give me a break. The door wide open. I come over here though, I'm looking, I'm saying, oh shit, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And I'm looking, I come up, oh, what's over there? Another Civic. And another Civic. And the two of them come together. And they're noisy too. They're also noisy. They're also noisy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull in there with the dirt with the dirty car and join them. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull in with the dirty car and join them. That'd be fun. As if I belong. Yeah, why not? As if I belong there. I'm here to see the bricks, baby. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry, baby. I'll be okay. Look at the bricks on the floor. But I was over here, so I had to pee. I was thinking, oh shit, this okay, I don't know if there's anybody in there still. I now know there's not a map there, I'll show you in a moment. But here, I'll show you now. Let's go. Let me show you what's going on here. A couple of banditos. Let's go check them out, baby. Give me a break. My battery's about to die. So, I better hurry. I better hurry. Let me show you what I found here. I come around this building, this house, and it's all fucked up and damaged. We're gonna melt. Yes, it is damaged and it's melted. I came over here, and it's concrete. It was concrete, but it's melted. Here. It melted away. It's all cracked and damaged and fucked up. Excuse me, my friend. And it's all um, and it's all blown out here. Inconsistent masonry. Inconsistent, blown out, and damaged. See over here, and over here, and over here. Blown out and damaged. That's not the, it was all the same. You can see it was all the same. Poor. It's not consistent. It's damaged. So the yards were raised already. The the. They're all, all these yards are raised with these, with these masonry borders and they're all melted and damaged. Limestone, melted brick, bricks hanging out, concrete, all of it. It's all melted. Whether it's concrete or whether it's brick, all of it is melted and the yards were all raised up before, before the event, baby. These bricks here, this egress window, before the event because they're melted. Because they're melted. So this was before the event because they're melted. They're melted into the stuff here. Sorry, ants, I just exposed you. And these here, they had paint on it. And they're painting something here. I don't know what they're painting. They did not do a good job on the paint on this house. A terrible job. The next one, they did phenomenal work. The next one, they did phenomenal work. The egress was already there. So is this house really that far down deep? Yes, and I also think no. Look at the bricks are melted. See, they're hot and damaged. That's a melted, fucked up brick. Excuse me. They're not supposed to look like that. Uh, that's not over firing. They're not using the, the over fired bricks. They're tossing them. They're, they will toss them. Yes, they will. They're looking right into the house and it's damaged. There's nothing there, no, nothing left there but stucco and, and wood. See, but this was a brick masonry house. We're not laying this junk like this. Okay. With a big slab of you know, you know little pebbles here, and throw some here, and a slab here, okay, and then some and then some crumble here, and a big slab of mortar here because we want it to be nice and ugly, and then that's how we're gonna how, give me a break. They didn't build that way, and get it to come out.
you know, and hold a house together still. They, they did not do that. Look at this stuff. Yeah, they, you think just lying here? Just sitting here, that it's, it's doing this. We don't have earthquakes. We're not moving really that much here. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it goes down, but not that much further down. This is hexagonal. This is hexagonal. Um, this side of the house, they did good paint work, so I don't know who painted that side. The stucco is original. It's melted. Look, it's melted right over and into, over and into the melted limestone. Now, it's the limestone that was brick, and it, it's, it's all yellow and gray limestone now. But the, the stucco, you can see, was melting over and into this. It's a part of it. It's fused seamlessly into this material. And it's very damaged and blown out. You can see the, the um, stucco is very blown out. You can see the stucco overhanging down here. It's all damaged. And there's bricks underneath. And there's um, bricks underneath that turn the limestone. I'm gonna run out of the battery. I better hurry up. This one here, another abandito, baby. Abandoned. And look at the paint work. It's great work. Clean all the way up. A clean work all the way through. That's good painting, baby. That's great work on this side. The other side is a hot mess. And the bricks are damaged down below at the foundational level. And I think it's the foundational level because there's nothing below it, really. Um, look at the tiles in here. Look at the tiles. Give me a break. And the hardwood floors in there make your, your voice echo. And it's, it's lovely. Underneath, melted. Concrete. Concrete wall that raised the yard. The yard was already raised because it's melted and damaged and hot and heat damaged, baby. And look what's underneath. Limestone, which was what? With the mortar between bricks, right. So this yard was already raised up. The yard was already raised up, baby. That's all I have to say. I don't think we're on the top thirds of the buildings. I think we're pretty close to foundational level if we want to be serious about stuff here. That's what I see. And then they say, no, but then what about, but then what about Cappadopia and, and, uh, and, and Darren Kuyu? It's got, it's got 30 levels down, right? Well, no, 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 no. The site of Darren Kuyu is at what, at elevation, above sea level. Where's the entrance? Way up there, way up there. Look at it, look, look it up. The entrance is not at sea level, it's way up there. So they're not talking 30 levels under the ground or sea level. They're talking 30 levels from from the side of the building. You're going into the side of a building, which is the mountain, the mountain is the building, and you're going into the side of it and then going down into the structure. That's not going under the ground. You know what I mean? Sure, they melt down and they, they bury themselves in their own rubble, in their own rubble. Yes, I'm not saying that's not happening. That's what happened. But I had to pee so bad I came off over here and I'm dancing around. I said, I'm gonna come over here, I had to pee. And I'm looking, there's trails right there. Oh, I can't do that, the trail's right there. And I'm coming over here. Yeah, I'm looking back again. They're gonna see me now. Nobody's over here. And I run up here and I'm sliding. I almost fall. And I peed and I peed and I peed. And I had to, I had to look up for a moment and catch my breath. I said, oh man, that was ridiculous. I almost didn't make it, I'm telling you. And I said, oh my god, it's shining like glass of terracotta. Everywhere you go, it don't matter if it's a 10 by 10 foot patch of trees in the middle of downtown, this is what you find in it. Melted bricks and terracotta pipes lying like spaghetti noodles twisted up and damaged. And I looked down at the ground and I said, that's an old lid. Without a doubt, that's an old, I can't even read the label anymore. I'm coming up, there's my lighter, I still here. Dropped it earlier. And I come up this way, I said, that's an old, that's an old, what is this, this jar here? This is a can. That's an old can, I can't read the label on it anymore either. Old style here. You know, that's an art, an antique artifact. This here, I pull this out, look what it says. Contents. Contents. We don't write contents. In our, we don't write that type of stuff on our. And look how fancy the glass is. Look how fancy this glass is. Even fancier. Look at this. Oh my God. And it's and it's got the same, the same print, the same font. They always had that in the old world. It was always the same font. And look how the fanciness on, on all these bottles. Sit here. This glass. Fancy bottles. Are you kidding me? It's all. This is, these are all antique artifacts, mind you. I come down, I'm stepping on it probably. There's a glass dinner plate, or not glass dinner plate, a dinner plate. More numbers here, very low numbers. Um, look at this. More real gold right there. That's real gold plate on, on this dinner plate. And look at this fancy that's going on here. 
it's all artifacts. Extremely nice art. This was beautiful. Look at the detail on the in the porcelain. And these cracks in here are purple. It's the most beautiful thing you ever saw. Little piece. It's coming with me. Yes, it is. I'm looking at this rainbow tinge. This rainbow, like nobody's business. This rainbow tinge. You can't see it. Look at what I found over here. Full bottle. It says federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. And it has a perfect lid on it still. Not even, it can't rust. It's like tin or aluminum. It's still twisted on there perfect. Not a dent on it. Not a dent on it. The rainbow glass, baby. Look at the, and this guy's some very low serial numbers. D1, 4, 6, and 72. And then the letter N. Um, I'm pulling this up out. It's tooled. This is a tooled jar. See here? And this is also something fancy here, very fancy flask. Beautiful fancy flask, very thick. And it just has a little logo there, a tooled logo of something. That's old world. Um, today they have all sorts of companies and names and the part numbers will be, and the serial numbers will be quite high, relatively high today. <laughs> a lot of numbers going on. And another tooled top, another tooled, um, this is part of this bottle, this jar bottle, whatever it was. See the tooled? marks here on this glass. It's all, these are all antique artifacts. I'm pulling off the top right here. This is perfect in every way. Not a scratch on it or what have you. Federal law forbids sale or reuse of this. So this would be a circa um, 1900s, maybe 1800s even flask right there. And all these artifacts are. And this one's coming home with me as well. Actually, I might just take this little, this little lot right here, this little group. I don't want too much junk, but I want this one that says contents. This green one has beautiful glass and this plate. Ah, but then this is so pretty too though. But that's that's enough. That's enough. Don't stop it. Just put it away. And anybody who's a digger right now is losing their potatoes right now, aren't you? I'm finding this stuff on the top. Look at these glass window panes. What is glass doing here? Look at this. Look at this piece of glass. Wavy and melted. That was a glass window pane, baby. Look at Look at that, that can come with me. I find lots of stuff like that. M melted glass, the glass melts too. And these numbers, look at the, everything fancy about their glass. Look at the glass on the bottom. That's old world stuff. It's here in the rubble. Look what I'm pulling out of this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Alright, there's still liquid in it. What the fuck? Yo, this is so... If there's any diggers watching this right now, I know that they're losing their shit right now. Look at this, watch this. Another full bottle. These are all artifacts. Oh my god, yes they 